Hi, it's Morgan and welcome to The Dove's Nest. In today's video, we are decluttering another closet. <laughs> Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new here, hi, welcome. It's nice to meet you. My name is Morgan Dove and I am a self-proclaimed hot mess mom. Today I am continuing on in my second week of an extreme home declutter. I am determined to get my house clean and organized so my family has a refuge away from the stresses of the world, but I can't begin to create that refuge until I get rid of a lot of our crap. So I've been working for the past week and I'm going to continue working through this week on purging our home of lots of stuff. In my last video, I gave you a little peek of what we're working on today, and today we are actually going to be decluttering my entryway closet. And it's probably the smallest project of my whole extreme home declutter, but that's because, you guys, I'm tired. <laughs> Like, I am exhausted. I've been decluttering something in my house every day for the past seven days. I've still got today and six more days after that to go. I'm growing a human, I'm taking care of toddlers, I'm doing the mom thing, I'm trying to kind of stay on top of keeping my house somewhat clean. It's not really happening yet, but we'll get there. So today's video is definitely gonna be shorter than most of the ones I've posted in the past, and it's just gonna be a quick and easy project. So if you have an entryway closet or a coat closet that you've been dying to sort of clean out and spruce up and organize, join me, let's clean together. It's always more fun to clean with a friend, and let's get started. Okay, let's get started. First, I'm just gonna move Move all this stuff out of the way, open the closet, and I'm going to start by emptying out and organizing my kids' shoe bins. My son has quite a few shoes in here that actually don't fit anymore, and the bottom is completely full of sand from the playground at his school, so I'm just going to empty that out and then only put back the shoes that still fit. And I'm just gonna do the same thing with my daughter's shoes. She's still learning to put her shoes in the bin, so the biggest problem we have with her is making sure her shoes actually get in the bin. I'm now just taking everything off of the floor because I'm realizing there is so much sand. So I'm gonna go ahead and give the closet a little sweep just to get all of that sand out there. You can see the line of sand on the floor. It's so bad. I'm gonna put it in my dust pan and then set it off to the side because I didn't bring a trash bag over. Next, I'm just gonna put back my shoes and my husband's shoes. These are kind of just the ones that we wear every day. So I keep them down here in this closet. And then I'm gonna put my son's t-ball bag. This is our diaper bag, but it's actually just full of clothes from a slumber party my kids had with their grandma. And again, it's full of sand and candy wrappers, so I'm giving that a good dump. My daughter's dance bag is empty. Again, her shoes are never anywhere to be found, so I'm just getting all of that organized so I can get the bags in the closet. I'm now throwing away my son's old shoes that are just ratty and not savable, and I did end up going to get my laundry basket so I could put the things that need to go in another room in that laundry basket. Now I'm going through the pile of stuff that came out of my car from my extreme car declutter video. This bag we were using as a makeshift backpack for my daughter for preschool. She usually has a bucket, but it was filthy and growing black stuff as you saw in that car video. And so she's got a lot of her preschool stuff in there. Most of what came out of my car were jackets and sweatshirts from winter. It just sort of all of a sudden got really warm here in Southern California. And so we've got lots of jackets still laying around. I also have a bunch of clothes that I had taken to a branding photo shoot. And so I'm sticking those in my laundry basket because I'm not worrying about putting them away right now. And I'm now gonna go through just the rest of what's in here. There's things like socks and mittens. <laughs> There's my ultrasound pictures and Christmas decorations and even an Easter decoration from last year. So all of that's going in the basket. I also found a few things that belong in my photography case. 
there was a random lens and I think a flash and then a bunch of lens caps. So right now I'm putting those where they belong in my suitcase. I'm sorry for the focus. I had my lens on a really low aperture and so it wasn't catching everything. It's a little embarrassing, but we still haven't completely put our Christmas decorations away. I actually have to clean out the closet in our laundry room so that my husband can take these things down and put them in the closet, but it was really convenient for me to put those random Christmas decorations away. I also found my daughter's tablet in my car, so I'm just plugging that in to give it a charge. And now I'm gonna work on these upper level shelves. There's not a ton up here. Most of it is cords and cables and things for our home security system as well as our internet and so I've got to leave most of it there but you can see there's some random hats and a fan these were actually toys that my son got from his birthday but he got so many of them that we ended up hiding them and then forgot so so we got those toys down for him to finally play with Next I'm moving on to this pile here. There's some t-ball pants that I have to return to the store because they were too small for my son. I have these winter coats that I need to go put away downstairs in the winter clothing box. And then I have all of this laundry that I need to take down to the laundry room. I finally got my garbage bag, so I'm wrapping up all of that stuff to put away. I'm gonna take out the garbage and throw it away so it's not just sitting in our house. Now all I have to do is unload the laundry basket, but I'll do that at another time. And there it is, our finished closet. Now again, that sand got everywhere. I think it's a combination of playground sand and then living at the beach. Your house is always just sort of filled with miscellaneous sand. And now that we have hardwood floors and not carpet, I can feel it on my feet. I'm always barefoot in my house and I hate the feeling of sand sticking to the bottom of my feet. So I'm just going ahead and giving our house a quick vacuum. Now that that's done, I'm gonna put this vacuum cleaner away and there it is, our clean, organized, and decluttered entryway. You guys, that's it for today's video. Like I said, it was a simple video. We don't keep a whole lot in that closet. It's mostly a shoe and coat closet, but I knew there were some other things in there that needed to be cleared out and cleaned up. There always seems to be sand on the floor of that closet when my son gets home from school. He puts his shoes in his bin, but dumps out all of the sand in his shoes just right there in the closet. And then obviously, as you saw, I did have all of the things that I brought in from my car declutter. <laughs> so I just added that to this video as well. It's literally been sitting in my entryway for two days all of that stuff but I'm glad it's done it's picked up it's clean and now my main level is done and so tomorrow we can start to begin decluttering downstairs if you enjoyed this video be sure to give it a thumbs up and if you'd like to continue to follow me along on my extreme home declutter journey as well as follow me along as I create habits and routines to keep a clean and tidy home I'd love for you to hit that subscribe button thanks so much for joining me today and as always I will see you in my next video I don't know what what is going on upstairs but it sounds like people are moving furniture and that means little people are moving furniture and that scares me <laughs> oh no